This episode gets me a little bit emotional because with this episode, it lets us know that the end of Assassination Classroom is upon us. We have to face it. The finale of Assassination Classroom is getting closer and closer by the week. And we can't avoid it. I just gotta say right now, it makes me sad because, I mean, I've already had to deal with, you know, the ending of Assassination Classroom because I read the manga. And I'm watching the anime currently because, you know, I want to see the anime. I want to hear the music, the emotions behind a lot of scenes that are coming up. And it just, I feel like I'm going to get sad all over again to say goodbye to a series a second time. It just, it makes me sad. So, when I saw that final part of this episode, you see, you know, our characters just gearing up. They've been, you know, scouting out the mountain and stuff where Coral Sensei's currently locked up. And when they're rushing off to try to save him, it got me emotional because, I mean, they're going to save their Sensei. They're there to help him out, and then his assassination is about to happen in less than a couple hours. So, the end game is here. We can't avoid it anymore. But before I, you know, get into that, there's a couple of things I actually need to discuss. And... I could be wrong here, so I want to ask the Chibits that have a better memory than me, some that can actually remember and have reread Assassination Classroom a couple of times, but I could swear, I, I could be wrong here, I could definitely be wrong, so take this with a grain of salt, and anime only don't let this, you know, kind of twist, you know, your opinion or viewpoint of the episode, but if I'm correct, I could have sworn that there were scenes cut out in this episode. I believe there was. Now, like I said, I could be incorrect here, I, I definitely could be. But I, I don't want to necessarily talk about them because it would spoil. It, it, there's actually scenes that I feel were cut out. If I remember the order of the series, there were supposed to be scenes in this episode that were to showcase, like, the main antagonist, let's say, of this final part of, you know, Assassination Classroom. And I believe it wasn't shown. It was actually completely axed out in this episode, which it should have been in this episode, but it wasn't. And... I'm actually kind of scared about that because does this mean that they're trying to change things up for the ending or is there something else going on here? Maybe they might try to fit it in next week's episode. That, maybe that could happen. That, that's a possibility. But I mean, with them kind of rushing off to go save Koro-sensei at the end of this episode, that's kind of bypassing a lot of events that's kind of already happened and needed to be set up because there are supposed to be two different main antagonists kind of have set up before our cast was rushing to save Koro-sensei through the barrier. There were supposed to be two, and they were not shown in this episode, and it scares me because with them, you know, going off, gearing up and stuff, it lets me believe that we don't have time to dive into these characters, and I'm kind of weirded out about that. I could be remembering it wrong, which that is a possibility, and I'm, you know, I could be making mistakes, and also, I just woke up very recently, so I could be a little bit half asleep and, you know, kind of retarded right now, so forgive me if I am a little bit stupid at the moment, but I do believe some scenes were cut out in this episode, and so I want to ask you manga readers that remember it a lot better, did they cut out some scenes in this? I, I could have sworn they did, so just let me know about that. I want to drop the subject here now because, like I said, I can't completely remember it, but I do believe some were. So, besides that, however, the episode, it's really fast-paced. It really is. And it constantly amazes me how Assassination Classroom could fit so much in one episode. Because, honestly, I did not expect to get that far into the manga story in this episode. Because, I mean, this is, uh, I think this is episode 21, is it? Let me check. I think this is episode 20, yeah, uh, yeah, episode 21 of season 2. So, this is episode 21 of season 2. I believe Assassination Classroom is going to be 24 episodes. That's usually how, you know, anime generally are. They usually last 24 to 25 episodes. Sometimes they can end on episode 22. I've seen that happen, but I believe there's not enough time for one more episode. You know what? Let me just look right here. While I'm at it, let me just fucking look. Since I have my computer right in front of me. Let me just see how many episodes this is going to be, because it'll clearly let us know how much time we have. Okay, so 25 episodes is what Assassination Classroom Season 2 is going to be. So 25, the episode 25 is obviously probably going to be the epilogue. That That's obvious right there. So we have three more episodes of content before the epilogue, the farewell, so to say, of the series. Um, let's see here. I could see how they could add some of the scenes they kind of cut out in those three episodes. I definitely can. The, the final episode, or episode 24, I could see, I can already envision what's probably going to happen. That episode, I can kind of already figure out how episode 23 is going to cliffhanger itself. Episode 22, though, that's a mystery, because if they did skip some content, that would mean that they would have to go back and backtrack and to give this information in that episode, next week's episode. 
So, yeah, you know what? I said I was going to get off the topic of skipping content, but I, I just had to talk about it. But anyways, yeah, the episode is very fast-paced. It just surprises me with how much content has been pushed into the series in these episodes, and we're only on episode 21, because... Honestly, I'm like, damn, it, it feels like, you know, the series could end next week. That's exactly how it feels like to me. It really does. As a reader of the manga and now seeing the anime episode, it feels like they could, if they wanted to, they could put the ending of the series, it would be fucking rushed. Oh, it'd be really rushed. But they could possibly put the ending in next week's episode. And I'm like, why would they do this? Are they trying to make it to where the ending of, you know, Assassination Classroom has, like, more time and more focus? key focus and that's kind of why they're probably trying to get all this content out of the way where they can focus on a lot of other different scenes the final scenes of the series that's a possibility so yeah i mean the episode was a good episode we have some comedy here and there i mean we got you know the school yearbook for e-class class e how they uh are, tr are trying to make their own yearbook and it was a very sad and sweet moment too because i mean look it's their final and first yearbook they can have coral sensei is spending his final moments making it and it, it's just it's so great it was a great scene it was a very great scene getting to see that it, it you know made me smile and all that with tears of joy so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below how do you feel about this week's episode how do you feel about you know bitch sensei and kurosuma and the, their relationship and all that do you still think that's you know cute because just seeing them together in this episode i was just smiling my ass off so let me know your thoughts in the comments below you all have a wonderful day or night please be safe chibi out